This is Fred Beck with Fred Talks Fighting, proudly sponsored by Bar Fights. Start and joined by the Horn Brothers, Harvey Horn, Louis Horn. We'll start off with the food. Harvey, what have you been eating in the last few days? So, uh, <laughs> not much. So I'm laughing. I've got, you can't see it, but Johnny Fish has got this silly pair of bins on behind the thing. Right? <laughs> Looks like Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> um, no, uh, sorry, Fred, what's the question? I'm eating. What have you been eating the last few days? Yeah. I haven't been eating much, I'll be honest, mate. I'm starting to cut the weight. This is probably one of the first times I've actually had to come down. Um, I mean, we're fight I'm fighting at flyweight still, so at eight stone. But um, yeah, the fight is actually at eight stone. Normally there's that little bit of leeway in there, eight stone two, eight stone three. But for some reason, this one was made at eight stone. So um, I've got to make the um, championship limit. What's it like living your brother Louis? You can eat wherever he wants. I can eat what I want? Yeah. What yeah. Well, he can eat what he wants now? Yeah, yeah but he's still... Yeah. Yeah, um, no, it's annoying. It is annoying, don't get me wrong. But it's, I'm in that phase where, you know, I'm a little bit miserable, but it is what it is, isn't it? I'll be all right. I guess it is all right. And Louis, how you been, mate? It's been a while since we last spoke. Yeah, good, Fred. How you doing? Well, actually, hang on a sec. Well, last time, right? Me and you were ready to go down, down at Jab Boxing, and you didn't turn up. I told you to stop. I, I was, I know, you know what happened? Um, I was with a girl, and then um, I had to drop her own, and I was late on, on my timing, that was it. <laughs> you don't get no birds. They're everywhere, mate. They're everywhere, mate. <laughs> so our harvest arch party after his fight on Friday. Yeah. You going? Nah, forget that. It's all boring. It's all boring. No, I'm joking. Yeah, of course I'm going, friend. I'm going to be front row. How many people are going then? Now I'm 18. How many people are going? To the after party. To the after party? Yeah. Do you think there'll be more people going to the after party than the actual fight? What, what are we going to have? 100%. <laughs> facts. Yeah. It's Mate, uh, so, yeah. <laughs> if, we have a, if we have a house party, and say, say I do, say, I don't know, there's 200, 250 people there. Yeah, but you're, talking, you're talking five yeah. in the gaff, 500 in the gaff. And I'm not lying. I'm not lying. The last house party we had, we haven't got a dog. And in our, on our carpet, there was a dog, like, mud tracks all the way through the middle of the floor it's mental i had a geezer yeah i walked down i wasn't drinking at these times yeah because i was a bit younger a geezer was on the floor he's got two beers in his hand and he's in mid-air and he's meant to be he's out right like, he's out cold he's somehow holding two beers asleep like he's woke up started drinking the beers he's back on it you know what i mean mental a lot of sloppy a lot of quite sloppy yeah so basically it all happens to the arch parties. So what's the craziest thing you've seen at one of these arch parties? We'll start with you. Oh, I can't say that yeah, on camera, yeah, Fred. Really loud, right? <laughs> You'll get them on our charts, I guess. So what's the what's one of the craziest things which you can say on camera? Um oh no, seeing my old man run through a party naked. <laughs> <laughs> with his little knob and all and his long balls. But yeah, yeah, that's funny. That's funny. But that ain't a crazy way. He does his party trick as well. He stands on a chair and goes and tilts over it and he's naked and everyone's like, oh don't. He's so embarrassing. <laughs> but don't. That's, that's after him, after a couple of beers, I guess. That ain't a bad one at all, for that. I'll give you a shot. Yeah, that's sober. <laughs> so what's, he's like, what's he like after like, five beers? <laughs> he don't want to know, Fred. Just stay away. <laughs> Just stay away. <laughs> all right, so, obviously, let's talk about your last fight. How would you rate performance? You weren't very happy with it, but you, I guess you watched it back? Yeah, I watched it back. Um, same story, but there's good things to pick from it. Uh, I have, and, and let me let me tell you something as well. I haven't had a real camp for for a fight yet, properly. And um, I need put me, I need to liven up really, you know what I mean, and stay consistent with it. Stay consistent with it, which I am. But you've been in the gym consistently, dedicated. Yeah, of course, mate. I uh, eat, sleep. Oh, is it eat, sleep? Because you told, I think you told me after the fight, there ain't no art party. We ain't going out. We're going straight back in the gym. How long did it take you to get back in the gym after the last fight? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it took me three weeks, three weeks. Wait, three weeks? Three weeks, three weeks, I was back in it. But you know what it was, Fred? Um, I had chest infection, so I had to wait for a chest infection to go. <laughs> God, that's a lie. No, I'm joking, serious. I had chest infection, so I had to wait for that to go. And, um, yeah, that was it really, mate. Do you, do you balloon up and wait in that time at all, or do you kind of stay on it? Nah, I'm, I'm one of them guys, if I put on weight, it's muscle. And, um, <laughs> I suppose everyone's excuse at the end of the day, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what everyone says. And you, Harvey, what do you make of Louis' performance? Mate, honestly, well, we can say it now. His performance was pony, really. Yeah. But it was, he knows it was. Uh, we know it was. Um, it was one of them, he was a, he was a tricky geezer, the, the bloke. Like, we had a look at him, and I, I'd already had a look at him before, and I knew what he was about. So we knew it was going to be a tough one, but I knew 
in the weeks before how ill he was. He was rough. And I said, then I? I said to everyone, I said, pull it. So just pull the foot. I said, pull it. Just, there's no point. You've got nothing to prove as in going. I said, you have, an, you have an average performance against a journeyman. It don't look good. Yeah. And um, especially at the start of your career. Yeah. So I said, you're better off pulling it. And, but they was like, nah, nah. But I mean, they, they learn it. Like, you learn these things as you're coming up. You got to, they, they, no one listens. I, I wouldn't have listened if I was in that position. There are people telling me, but I wouldn't have pulled out. But it's just one of them things where um, he's gone through it now. He's learned it. And... Um, I still got the win. You can't. That's what I'm saying. You can't moan. He had a good fourth round. Funnily enough, he had a good fourth round. It's like he switched on in the fourth. But the first three, uh, yeah, it was bored out. My bored out my nut. <laughs> bored out my nut. Standing there staring at each other. But, oh, like your fight, mate. I was copying you. <laughs> yeah. No, that's yeah. That's my one out of my playbook. I took, I took a leaf out of his book for it. That's what's happened. I videoed the. I videoed the fight. And I think they put up on their YouTube channel. You watched it back though, haven't you? Since. Yeah, I've watched it back. The fourth round was alright, but. I, I was doing it in before the fight. I was hitting the pads. I was thinking, how am I gonna get through this? My chest was messed, but like, like it was alright. I got in there and I got the win, Fred. I got, I got the win. And obviously, Louis fights this Friday, the Boston Boxing Show. You'll be there, ringside, in the changing rooms. About? Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. He killed the geezer, anyways. I've seen him. If you don't, I'll do him myself. You know what I mean? Do you ever bet on your brother in the fights? Yeah, all the time. All the time. I know, with the ten pound I got. <laughs> no, I was joking. And Harvey, how are you feeling about this Friday? Um, no, I feel good. I do feel good. I mean, got that in that little crap period where you're making the weight for the last little bit. But sharp wise, I'm very, very sharp, I'll be honest. I'm sharp. Feeling strong. I've had a look at who, the geezer I've got. I'll be honest, I think I will punch holes in him. I should punch holes in him. And if I don't then I, I, I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will. Yeah. You aim, you aim for the stoppage, or? I'll be honest. That I, I could say yeah. I'm always, you always aim for the stoppage, don't you? But Mark, Mark likes me to box nice and long, keep him long. He's only a little geezer as well, so I'm gonna keep him long. Uh, what's he called? Uh, box out, fox, ping, and sting. I got to do. So I just got to do that. And if I don't, if I get involved, or if I hold my feet for five seconds, I got a slap when in the corner. So. But I'll see, I'll see what he's got, see what he's got. I'll let him, let, let him see what he's like. Hopefully he don't look like that last geezer. <laughs> do you know where you are on the card? You first on, do you know what time roughly? Mate, I don't have a clue. I'll find out in the way and It's always the same. You can ask as many times. You've got to wait till you get there. Wait till the way and see what he's like. I've got a funny feeling I'm going to be on early. But I'm hoping I'm not. I'm going to pull all the strings I've got to make sure I ain't first on. I've done first on before and it, I don't like it. If you are first on, do you always stay behind and watch the rest of the fights? Or do you kind of head off home? No, nah, I'm gone. We boxed them. We bo to be fair though, there's some right good fights on there. I want to watch Kelly box. I want to watch Harlem yeah, Eubank. Yeah, I want to watch Denzel Bentley and uh, Linus. But I'll be honest, last time I boxed first was at my debut, the Copper Box. I boxed at half four, right? Half four at the Copper Box. It barely opened. I've done about, oh mate, I've done a ridiculous amount of tickets. I was at my house party by half six. We was there, weren't we? By half six, we was there. We was, we was uh, going so at nine o'clock what was everyone like wait we was mangled that, that house party started the house party started at uh, about half six yeah I went to sleep at about 12 like, I had a power nap got back up it carried on till Monday morning Monday morning what? so like yeah, my floor was, my floor was like a squat rave you know that like, sticky so it's like that scene in Breaking Bad where they do like the four day party it just carries on and on and on like Project X you seen Project X yeah, I've seen Project X it was like that the neighbours were going mad knocking on the door telling us going into one but it's because it was only supposed to last till Saturday but obviously it carried on till Monday and then it snowed, it snowed. Yeah. <laughs> everyone got snowed in as well so, it snowed, so everyone got snowed in so I had to carry on there my, yeah. they wouldn't let my DJ leave they wouldn't let him leave but I felt sorry for him He's it's but, the old, old boy it's, like yeah. like, it's not the young crowd that get like add their little bit and it's done them mob just done I went to stop you know what yeah. I mean we crash yeah. we crash we have enough but the older lot the old yeah. how old are the older lot which was 60 50 you're talking mid fifties, like mid fifties, yeah, yeah, fifties. But I was just like a material, wow. In the kitchen like that, still, everyone's mangled. And they're um, they're lighting lighting fags off of my cooker. Like I, I see someone light a fag out of my toaster. You know the toaster? They turn the toaster off and put the fag on. Yeah, and everyone was like, oh, buzz it. I put I put a poster up, you know, like on on the wall, of like the debut because it's a special one. Put like it's like a Harvey Horn, like whatever. And where everyone was, like, we was like, right, we're smoking outside. You smoke outside, don't smoke in the house. 
by the end of the night, everyone was smoking inside. I took the poster off the next morning, yeah. <laughs> Just a black, the wall was black and there was one white, big white mark on the thing. Oh, it was messed up. Well, it sounds like I can't miss the arch party on, uh, on Friday. I guess we'll do an interview on Friday, but I remember, Louis, I want to ask you about this. You're working with your dad's friend. Did you still work with him? Packed it. Fred, I packed that in a while ago, a while ago, yeah. I'm a professional athlete now, Fred. <laughs> this is what I do. But yeah, yeah, I'm a professional athlete, Fred. I can't be lifting up carpet and all that, doing it back in. That sounds pretty good. And what sort of pranks would you what would you do on your dad's friend? What would you do to him? It sounded like you didn't have the kind of the, the best relationship, we'll put it that way. No, we did, we did if in case you see this, you know, we did we did mark. You know what I mean? Give him a little shout out. But um oh, I didn't play too many pranks, him, I just didn't really do anything, Fred. <laughs> That's the difference. Um yeah, fall asleep while he's working, you know, the normal. But um yeah, we move on, you know what I mean? We move on. That sounds pretty good. Well, Louis Harvey, I'll catch you Friday. Thanks for the time. Thank you, Fred. Nice one. Nice one.